Hi, I'm Deborah Atkinson, the voice for fitness. Welcome to this course, Prevent Back Pain with Five Steps. If you have back pain right now, or you've had back pain and you wish it not to come back, or you're just starting an exercise program and you know the smartest thing for you to do in order to avoid back pain is develop a strong core, you're in the right place. Those are three great reasons to take this course. 80% of US adults suffers from back pain. 88% of those actually experience recurring pain throughout the year. As a fitness professional of nearly 30 years, I've helped literally hundreds of my own clients deal with and prevent back pain. I've helped dozens of trainers work effectively to deliver programs to help their own clients prevent back pain as well. But on a personal note, I know exactly how debilitating a back pain injury can be. Shortly into my career, I was thrown from a horse, a horse I had no business being on, onto a pile of lumber. And I spent the next three months, but really I've spent the last 30 years rehabilitating and then recovering from that pain off and on throughout the years, depending on how active or inactive that I was. I know it can cause a loss of sleep, a change in your daily routine, a loss of work, and the inability to manage or to lose weight because you can't exercise as intensely as you know you want to or you should. So how can you use this course to your advantage? First of all, you're watching this because you either are being teased by this course and we're hoping that you actually take it so that you can decrease your back pain, decrease the intensity of back pain, or ideally both. And you may have already purchased this course and you're wondering just how to use it. So think of this as your tip list for getting the optimal benefit from the course. So let's talk about the five steps. So first of all, we're gonna actually go into releasing what's tight in you and putting you back into proper alignment with stretches that release muscles, not just in your lower back, but around muscles that act on your lower back. So you'll sometimes be stretching muscles of the hip, of the hip flexors, of your upper back, because they all act and pull on the lower back, which ends up being sometimes the symptom, but not actually the problem. So once we've got you in better alignment, Second step we'll move on to is mobility. So we wanna be able to move your joints in the proper range of motion and get some action into them now that the muscles around them are released. So again, you can put yourself in the right position to actually get the most benefit from the core strength exercises that you'll do. So that's where we'll end up with section three. You'll actually go through either a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced, or you'll progress through each one on your own time. There's no rush and there is no advantage to going faster. In fact, that's probably how most of us get hurt, is trying to do too much too soon. So I encourage you to watch the entire course yeah, before you actually do the course so that you'll know what the cues are, what the exercises look like before you actually lie down on the floor and try to do those on your mat while you're listening to the instruction. You'll have a better idea of where you are in the continuum. My guess is that if you're purchasing this course, this is not the first thing that you've tried. Maybe not the first time that you've been hurt. So factor in the expertise that you have and that I have as a fitness professional, but you have expertise based on your prior experiences, based on exercises that you've done it to this point that you know either work or don't work for you, and look at what I'm offering and pick and choose so you really make this a unique exercise program for you and your back and core care. So once we've developed a strong foundation, We'll move on and I'll introduce you to more functional core exercises. So up until that point, you can say that this really is a more therapeutic exercise course, but that's not the way we live and breathe in daily life. 
And so we want to introduce you to exercising in a way that actually helps you bend over, reach over and pick up the dog food or a baby. And you need to, in order to do that, to really integrate muscles. Up until this point, we'll focus on isolation and building deep strength where we need it. But then really it's important that you move more functionally to have more carryover for you. So by no means is that brief section inclusive. In fact, it's very brief, just to give you an idea of where you should progress to. Watch that section first, and in doing so, you may realize that some of those exercises immediately are not ones that you can actually do. And that's okay, so we'll leave them out. From there, we'll go on and look at what are you doing the other 23 hours of the day. So if there's a great exercise program that includes stretches and core exercises that are great for you, you're doing those for one hour a day, but the other 23 hours of the day, you're sitting or standing in postures that are not to your advantage, it's gonna be awful hard to overcome that. So we'll take a look at your workstations. And whether you sit or you stand or both, we'll look at how some small tweaks may make a big difference in your comfort and in your prevention of back pain. And the very fifth step, the last step, will be a wrap up looking at how can you maintain that pain-free living and how will you take the stretches and the exercises forward with you to progress or to maintain where you're at. So let's get started.